Hey, ball points and swanky joints. I am very particular about ballpoint pens. I love you. Hey everybody, my name is John and welcome to A-D-I-T-W, A Day in the Word, the internet's favorite Bible study. Week two of our study of James has arrived. Let's get into some deep theological discussion. 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 I can't talk. Please read James chapter 2 verses 14 through 19. Now, this passage, talking about faith versus deeds, has been a very controversial passage for some, and for others, just plain confusing. But never fear, ADITW is here! A lot of folks first read James's words here and think, Wait a minute. I thought faith did not come by works. I thought we were saved by grace alone. What is life? A lot of folks see this passage as directly contradicting Paul's words in Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 and 9. For it is by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not from yourselves. It is a gift from God, not by works, so that no one can boast. And while I do agree that faith without works is dead sounds like the opposite, it's actually not. James is not refuting Paul's statement here. He's actually completing it. In essence, Ephesians chapter 2 verses 8 and 9 says, it's not just about good works. You need faith. And James chapter 2 verses 14 through 19 says, that faith isn't real if it doesn't lead you to do good works. Both of these passages are not really a question of faith versus deeds, but both of these passages are actually showing how the two should work together. Scholars would call this the theological unity. Oh, I'm so impressed. It's not that we do good works instead of having faith, it's that we do good works because of the faith we have. James is not making a case for faith by works, James is making a strong case for a faith that works. James is committed to his readers showing their faith through outward expressions of love. Not because faith comes from deeds, but because good deeds should come from a grounded faith. Really, James's main point here is that faith is more than a confession. Faith is a commitment. The Christian life is about so much more than simply confessing that Jesus is Lord. It's about seeking to live the way that Jesus lived, doing the things that he did, loving people the way that he loved people. And if our faith is truly real, it will change the way we live. It will change the way we love our classmates. It will call us to include that person who's always left out. It will move us to serve not only within our church, but out in the world as well. Remember, it's about a faith that works. And this is a theme for James. Remember, this is a man who said, don't be hearers of the word, be doers. And so for you today, where can you begin to put your faith into action? Where in your life can you begin to have a faith that works? I would love to hear from you in those comments down below. Hey friends, thank you so much for watching. I wanted to take a second and let you know that today's show is brought to you by Audible. Why Audible? Because Audible content includes an unmatched selection of audiobooks, original audio shows, news, comedy, and more from the leading audiobook publishers, broadcasters, and entertainers. I used to read fiction all the time as a kid, but lately as an adult, I just haven't been able to find the time to actually sit down and read. But last year, audiobooks change that as I started listening to audiobooks on my runs or on a long car ride. It has really helped me fall in love with fiction again. A recommendation I would give you, a great place to start. The best audiobook I read last year was Ready Player One by Ernest Cline, narrated by the incredible Will Wheaton. But of course, with a free trial, you can choose any book you want. 
That's right. Audible is offering viewers of A Day in the Word a free audiobook with a 30-day trial membership. So just head on over to audibletrial.com slash Jorgensen. Start browsing the unmatched library of audio content. Get your book and start listening today. Also, as always, I wanna give a big shout out and a big thank you to all of our Patreon supporters out there. If you're interested in partnering with this ministry in a financial way for as little as a dollar a month, you can become a patron today. All you have to do is visit the link in the description down below. That is all the time I have for you today. I love you all. I'll see you next week. Keep being awesome.